Red Rain, and today we are talking about composites. So this is a very important video and I really think if you want to use Harmony, you have to watch it. So I'm gonna explain to you the difference between the different kinds of composite and most importantly, the bitmap composite and the pass-through composite. So first, what is a composite? Okay, so I'm gonna do that very quickly. So if you already know what it is, just bear with me for like 30 seconds, okay? So a composite is Harmony's way of holding layers together. Because if you look at this display node here, it can only have one node connected to it. If I don't have anything connected, I don't see anything. If I take Dan, Crab, Break, and I put it there, I see it. But I cannot put Aaron and Dan in the same display because it only can have one port. So that's why you have the composite. You can put the composite here, and then you can connect multiple things to it. So basically, if you have multiple things you want to connect into one funnel, then you need a composite. So if I click on the square here and I go to the properties, you're going to find mode as bitmap or pass through. We also have seamless bitmap and vector. I'm not going to cover those because they're not common. You can just check the documentations if you want. But bitmap and pass through are very important. So how do you recognize them? If you have a composite that is bitmap, it's going to be this shape and it's going to be dark blue. If you have a composite and you set it to pass through, it's going to be purple and more of a trapeze shape. So this is a pass through composite and this is a bitmap composite. And also, usually when you have a pass-through composite, the wire that comes out of it is going to be thicker and stuff. So what is their purpose? So a bitmap composite is going to flatten your image as one, kind of. So it means that if I have a rig, like Aaron here as a crab, <laughs> crab Aaron, I guess? Crab Aaron? I don't know. So if I take Aaron, it's a rig. So usually if I go into the group, if you want to know how to manage group, just check my group videos. I'm not going to cover that today. But my rig finishes with a bitmap composite. If that composite was set to pass through, I want to show you the cable here is going to be huge. And that's because it's holding every wire in it. If it's bitmap, it's going to be a thin wire because it's just one image going down. If you set it as a pass through composite, it means that all of your layers are going into that tube individually. What do I mean by that? <laughs> I mean that if I zoom out here and I just focus on Erin, and I give it a transparency node, like that. Transparency, Boop. and I connect it here. If I set this to pass through, it's going to put a transparency individually on each of those layers. If I set it to bitmap, it'll take the whole image and make it transparent. Okay, and I'm gonna show you that into the render view. So, you know, no transparency. Here I have a composite set to bitmap, I take my transparency, I apply it, my whole image gets more or less transparent. Okay, now let's do this instead with a pass through composite. And by the way, I removed the transparency, but you could have just left it there as well. If I set it to pass through and I put it back, you see now the transparency is getting affected to each of these cables one by one. Like that. So pass through and bitmap. Pass through and bitmap. So needless to say that usually when you do compositing on a character, may it be a rig or a traditional character, uh, when we composite, most of the time we will use bitmap composite because we need to flatten everything. So that makes compositing in rigs a bit hard sometimes because your rig has so many pieces, which is why when you rig, it's somewhat important, depending on what your compositing will be, uh, to try and think on on how you're gonna break your layer, your character apart. Uh, usually it's uh, great to have ways to kind of isolate at least the top and the bottom body, or like each limbs if you can, but you know, I'll keep that for a future reading video. Now we're just talking about the composites themselves. So bitmap composite is great because it flattens everything. And the way to see it is kind of like a power bar. So everything is connected to it and comes out with one output. If you have a pass-through composite, it's more like just an elastic band holding everything together, but every cable is still individual in there. So bitmap is like a power bar, pass-through is like an elastic band holding your wires neatly together. The other big difference between the two is that, like I said, the bitmap is going to flatten everything, which includes the z-depth. You see here, I have my character in sandwich in my background, but my background is behind them in my order. This is because I have a multiplane. If you want to know how to do multiplane, go check out my multiplane video. All I want to share here is that I have these two layers that are physically in front, like the z depth is in front of the other with the pegs. And this works because my composite is set to pass through. So 
The layers themselves are individual, but also the pegs. If I set this to bitmap, it will put everything behind or in front of the character. Last but not least, I want to show that the composite set to path through can sometimes be useful. If I put a blur node, for example, on my background and I want to have everything blurred but not the character, but they're in sandwich, I can take one blur and put it here. And then in my render view, it's going to blur everything like this. It's going to blur all the parts of my background, but not my character. So that can be very useful. That's almost the only way I would use it in compositing. But yeah, the most important thing about path through and bitmap composite is that a pass-through composite, I'll say it again, it is extremely heavy compared to a bitmap composite because when you have pass-through, like I said, if you have any effects or anything happening under the composite, it is going to read all the wires all the time. So if you go into your rig um, and you have lots of pass-through composites everywhere, each time you have a pass-through composite, it's going to have to go up the chain and calculate a lot of stuff. So if you really need to maintain Z-depth, yeah, keep your composite to pass through if you really need. But everywhere you can in your rig, it's always better to have a composite set to bitmap and not pass through because bitmaps are lighter. So for example, my mouth here, I will never really need to have a different Z-depth for the mouth and the mustache. So the mouth and the mustache together, I united them on their bitmap composite. However, the hair here, some parts are in front and some parts are behind the body. So in that case, I could not unite all the hair on their bitmap composite because otherwise I couldn't have the sandwich between the body and the hair. All right, so I hope that was instructful and you're gonna have a nice week. So see you later, bye-bye.